What we count as 8 Dhoti, daughter called counting numbers. In the ancient past no one knew about these counting numbers. When these people had to express they drew lines like this. Thus number system was evolved naturally therefore called as natural numbers. It was very well expressed on a line. A line is a collection of points very close to each other. When joined together create a line. Lines are of two kind. One as a straight line. When we put arrows at every point, arrows points in the same direction, is a straight line. When arrows does not point in the same direction, line as a curvilinear line. When each point on this line assigned two numbers, like 1, 2, 3, 4, are called as natural numbers. There are two drawbacks in the natural numbers. One is when we subtract a number from itself, what we get is nothing. This nothing was defined as 0 by Aryabhat. For example, 5 minus 5 equals nothing does not belong to n, hence a new number system as whole number was evolved as w equals shunya ek do teen. Next drawback is when we subtract a larger number from a smaller one, we again get a negative number which are not there in the set of whole numbers, therefore we define a new set of numbers as containing integers positive, negative or zero, written as z equals minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus. Now we see, between the two integers there exist fractions only dot for example 1 half, 1 third, 1 quarter, which are called as rationals, defined as Q equals P upon Q such that P, Q are integers or Q is not equal to 0. Now according to the idea of rationals, natural, whole or integers can be placed as rational numbers like 2 upon 1, 5 upon 1, 0 upon 1, 7 upon 1, 11 upon 1, therefore all natural, whole or integers can be said to be rationals. Now we see that in between intervals like, shunya ek, ek do minus 1 minus 2, not all are rationals but some of them can't be expressed as p upon q or rationals. So we define them as a rationals. i equals those numbers which can't be expressed as p upon q, for example, Square root of 2, 3 and 5, dot are in rationals. A number is either perfectly divisible or not. When perfectly divisible means remainder come out is 0. But when not perfectly divisible remainder can never be 0. We say never terminate. If terminate is called a rational number. If dost terminate it may be repeating or non-repeating. Repeating is a rational and non-repeating is irrational. We have defined natural numbers, whole numbers, in tigers, rational numbers, and at last irrational numbers. We now ultimately define a set of real numbers as R equals rationals and irrational. Graphically we can represent every point of a line by one number or the other as called a real number line. 